Moses called to all the children of Israel and said to them, You have seen all the good which the Lord your God has done for you in the wilderness. Now therefore observe all the words of this law and walk in the way of the Lord your God. Turn not from the way which the Lord has commanded you, either to the right or to the left. And Moses taught the children of Israel rules and judgments and laws to do in the land as the Lord had commanded him. And he taught them the way of the Lord and his laws. Behold, they are written on the book of the law of God, which he gave to the children of Israel by the hand of Moses. And Moses finished commanding the children of Israel. And the Lord said to him, Go up to the Mount Abram and die there, and be gathered to your people as Aaron your brother was gathered. And Moses went up as the Lord had commanded him. And he died there in the land of Moab by the order of the Lord in the fortieth year from the Israelites going forth from the land of Egypt. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab for thirty days. And the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were completed. It was after the death of Moses that the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Rise up and pass the Jordan to the land which I have given to the children of Israel, and you shall make the children of Israel inherit the land. Every place on which the sole of your feet treads shall belong to you, from the wilderness of Lebanon to the great river, the river of Prath shall be your boundary. No man shall stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. Only be strong and of good courage to observe all the law which Moses commanded you. Turn not from the way either to the right or to the left, in order that you may prosper in all that you do. And Joshua commanded the officers of Israel, saying, Pass through the camp and command the people, saying, Prepare for yourselves provisions, for in three days more you will pass the Jordan to possess the land. The officers of the children of Israel did so, and they commanded the people, and they did all that Joshua had commanded. Joshua sent two men to spy out the land of Jericho, and the men went and spied out Jericho. And at the end of seven days, they came to Joshua in the camp and said to him, the Lord has delivered the whole land into our hands. The inhabitants thereof are melted with fear because of us. And it came to pass after that, that Joshua rose up in the morning, and all Israel with him. And they journeyed from Shittim, Joshua, and all Israel with him passed the Jordan. And Joshua was 82 years old when he passed the Jordan with Israel. The people went up from Jordan on the 10th day of the first month. And they camped in Gilgal at the eastern corner of Jericho. And the children of Israel kept the Passover in Gilgal in the plains of Jericho on the fourteenth day of the month, as it is written in the law of Moses. The manna ceased at that time on the morning of the Passover, and there was no more manna for the children of Israel, and they ate of the produce of the land of Canaan. Jericho was entirely closed against the children of Israel. No one came out or went in. And it was in the second month, on the third day of the month, that the Lord said to Joshua, Rise up, 